King David's life is biblical proof that even the best of intentions, steadfast hearts, anointed lives, and highly favored positions are not immune from moments of temptation to imagine God as less than who he is and our wants to be greater than our needs. My best friend showed me that Psalm 23, Psalm 51, and 2 Samuel 11 come together in the parable of the lost sheep found in Luke chapter 15. He loves us enough to personally come and rescue each and every one of us. Jesus can woo and rescue us even through the pitfalls, hardships, and consequences of our sin. When we are weak, He is strong, and heaven rejoices with every repentant heart. Praise God that we have a good shepherd in Jesus. I'm also reminded of this verse from the hymn, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. Here I raise my Ebenezer, hither by thy help I am come, and I hope by thy good pleasure safely to arrive at home. Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it, prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, O oh, take and seal it, seal it for thy courts above. Remember in 1 Samuel 7.12, an Ebenezer refers to a stone intentionally placed and named specifically as a reminder of God's help and faithfulness. May this drawing be an Ebenezer to look at and remind us today that God dearly loves us. We are safer walking through life holding his hand and guided by his wisdom, love, and mercy than if we walked alone with only the light of our own power and intellect. We are his sheep and he is our shepherd.